name is Oksana Pika and I'm a secondary education English major and I'm also certified in ESL. My name is Tierra Bartle and I am a mid-level 4th through 8th math education major. I was at Central Columbia High School and I was under um, Matthew Swinehart and we, I taught in an 11th grade and then 12th grade classes so I got to teach in um, creative writing classes, regular English 11, AP uh, literature and composition and a couple of other classes. I'm in a 7th grade algebra pre-algebra class. We use a lot of technology, iPads, smart boards, which was really new for me because I've never used Apple products. So I had to actually buy my own iPad and work with it for the first two weeks. It was a digitally converted school, so that meant like they were on a one-to-one -one iPad ratio. So all the students had iPads and I had an iPad. Everything is on the iPad. So the only time they ever have paper is if they don't have their iPad. They they actually get in trouble if they don't have their iPad. It was a lot of like collaborating and, and, and easy, it was collaborating back and forth between the iPads and just being able to pass the iPad and type things up really quick and just send them directly to the teacher rather than you know having a stack of papers or you know a stack of essays. They just you know send it to you or upload it to a, a site and it was just very you know technology ingrained into the lessons and which I think was really important especially where society is going with technology in the workplace. But it, again all based around the iPad which is fun because they take the iPad with them. They actually have whiteboards that they can use on their iPad. They do all of their examples on their iPads. They do all their homework, all their notes, everything. Student teachers that I've had through PDS are always, they always have so much more experience because the PDS experience gives them an extended student teaching experience. More time in the classroom, more time just experiencing day-to-day -day routines and how to deal with different classroom situations. Applying the lessons themselves, like actually conducting them in front of a group of students, it's so much different than just planning the lessons. A lot of that initial anxiety, they're already past and they have a comfort level when they begin to student teach. They may have established relationships with uh, some of the faculty. I've had uh, PDS students get involved extracurricularly. You know, I had to really learn to condense stuff down because in the program, you know, you're like, oh, do a 15 minute lesson. It seems like the end of the world. It's, it's weird applying it to the classroom. And then once you're actually there and then you have to worry about like, are the students liking the lesson? Is what I'm doing making sense? Um, and it's just so much different than actually doing, like, than doing it in one of our classrooms and doing it in an actual classroom with actual students. I mean, think about it on your first day of school. Your first day of school, you're just learning things from the start. But it, when you have a PDS student teaching placement beforehand, it's like you've previewed all of that. I've been really like worried about going into student teaching because like the first time you're ever going to teach is in student teaching when it really matters. Um, but I think the PDS was a really nice stepping stone because you could just like, you know, get your feet wet, go two days a week, um, observe a lot, teach a little bit, get your feet wet, and then you kind of figure out the pace that you want to go at. And then when you're ready to do student teaching, it's like you've already been here, you've already done this, you know how everything works and you can just go. And it's, it would make you so much more comfortable. Coming here in the fall acclimates them to so many things. Uh, the school culture, the climate, the school rules, the systems, the procedures, the technology that we have in our school, everything from smart boards to the online grading uh, software program that we use. It makes a phenomenal difference. Central Columbia specifically, I was so excited to do it because I'm with these kids from September to May and like I get to see their full like circle come back like from the beginning and they made so much progress like right now I have a student that was kind of struggling at the beginning and even just until December she amazes me. To see it for more than just your traditional six week experience to see it over the whole semester and even your two days a week in the semester before that just being able to see the whole complete process of a school year. You'll know the teacher, you won't have to get used to that again. It's, 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 you're already used to so many things that you would have to worry about normally during your first day of student teaching. And on the first day of your student teaching, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You, you get to focus completely on teaching. And you've already taught a couple lessons, whether or not they're to the same students you have now. You've already taught a couple lessons, so it's, you know, that pressure's off. It's not the first lesson ever. It's, you know, I've done this, and now it's just a different group of kids. On a standard teaching application, 
there's at the very back of the page it says there's like five prompts you can write on and one was technology in the classroom and I could write for hours on it like it just was a little page you just had to fill the page and I kept writing and writing and writing I was like there's so much I could write about this and that's going to give me a leg up on the competition because that's just part of the teaching application. So if someone's sitting there being interviewed and they've had just a much richer experience there's more that they can talk about and, um, and I think that gives them an edge. Honestly, I think I'm going to miss the students the most because they, they were a lot of fun to, to work with and to get to know. Like, I met an exchange student from Thailand. I met a, a student who had moved here from um, South Korea when he was 12. In my seventh grade wing, it's like one big happy family. And it kind of makes you feel good because I don't only just talk to my cooperating teacher, I talk to all of the teachers and we joke and we have a really good time. Like I could sit down with all of them one on one for like a half an hour and just be good to go. It's the complete package, not only from the teaching standpoint, but from getting to know kids and how kids think to being comfort, comfortable with the content for today, the Common Core, the Pennsylvania State Assessment or the Keystone exam. It's, it's everything. You have more days where it's like, that. what lesson went so well, everybody was understanding, everybody was getting it, everybody was having fun, like, and it just makes you really, like, understand that, you know, you are in the right profession, you're enjoying this, you love doing this, and the days go by so fast, and I think that's the best part. I'm here because I like to teach, I like kids, this is what I want to do, not what I need to do. I think it fits really well into the practicum that you don't, uh, into the program, that you don't just go straight from your classroom to their classroom. It's you know, it's a nice little, like, gradual process. It's the best thing that they could do because it really prepares you for student teaching.